everyone, so today I'm here with my April wrap up video and also my May TBR pile. For the month of April, my theme was kind of love and romance and things like that. And this is the first time that I haven't read the books that I plan to read, which is really, really sad. But it's all because of one, one book. So I finished reading One Day by David Nichols. So I talked about One Day in my previous wrap up video. It was pretty good. A bit of a chunky one to get through. Took a little while, but it was quite enjoyable. I've rated this one 3 out of 5 stars. I then read Lies Beneath by Anne Greenwood Brown. I received this book from NetGalley, and it will be released in June, I'm pretty sure. And it is about mermaids. It's from the perspective of a male mermaid, and they're kind of like killer mermaids that, you know, suck the life out of the people and kind of absorb their... I guess their emotions. The mermaids can kind of see a person's aura and then absorb that. I really, really enjoyed it. I haven't rated it yet, but I will be doing a review of that one on the blog this month. I also read Delirium by Lauren Oliver, and I really, really enjoyed this book. My goodness, I was heartbroken by this book. Oh my. Rate this 5 out of 5 stars. The Catastrophic History of You and Me by Jess Rothenberg. I was pleasantly surprised by this one. I wasn't too sure what to expect because I don't read too many contemporary books, but this was absolutely hilarious. I really, really enjoyed it. 4 out of 5 stars. I also read Intuition by Jay Myers, which is just a short story that's an introduction, sort of, to Intangible, and I really enjoyed it. It's like really short, like 15 pages. I was just drawn into the characters and I am really intrigued to see what happens next. I also finished the audiobook of Finnegan of the Rock. Now because it's an audiobook, and considering I am really, really easily distracted, this took me forever. I started listening to it in January, and I just <laughs> I finished in April. So it's not that I didn't like the story or anything, I quite enjoyed the bits that I was paying attention to, but it's just I found it hard to find the time to listen to it. Like I said though, because I got so distracted, I think I probably missed a whole lot of the story. So, I mean, there were some bits later on I'd start actually tuning into the story again and be confused by what's happening because I, you know, tuned out. So, I'm probably going to pick up the book and read that, and I'll review that one. I'm not going to review or rate the audiobook because I just... I missed so much of it, and that's my fault. It, there was no problem with the audiobook or the story at all, but yeah. So, those are the books that I read in April, and there's also the book that I'm currently reading. A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I started reading this probably on the 15th, so I've, <laughs> I've been reading this for two weeks, and I'm that far in. It is a monster of a book. I am really enjoying this, do not get me wrong. I'm really enjoying the story. I just hard to get through. I even participated in Dewey's 24 hour readathon <laughs> and I got through maybe that much, maybe a little more. I got through close to 400 pages and I only actually read for like 10 hours. <laughs> My god, I was hoping to finish the entire book by then, but no, that just didn't happen. So yeah, still reading it, I will get through it. I swear. Now on to the May to be R. So for this month I'm reading sequels because I often start new series or start new books and then I kind of leave the sequels sitting on my shelf for a little while. I will be reading Insurgent by Veronica Roth definitely when this book arrives. I'm definitely, definitely reading that book. I will also be reading Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick which is a sequel to Hush Hush. I wasn't actually planning on continuing with the series too much, but since I got this cheap secondhand for a few dollars, I decided why not. City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. This is the sequel to City of Bones. I enjoyed City of Bones, but not as much as I was hoping to, so hopefully this one's better. There are a couple of other sequels that I might get round to if I manage to pick up the book, if my book buying ban allows me to. That'll be Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver and Fade by Lisa McMahon. So those are all the books that I plan to read. I hope you all have a wonderful May and I will see you next time.